I mean, I've skydived before. I was going on a date with a girl. One of us said, ha ha, let's go skydiving. But it's like you have to go through like six hours of classes where they basically beat into your head. This is what's going to happen. We're going to open the door. We're going to count to three. We're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to jump. All right, let's go over this again. What's going to happen? After the six-hour class, you go out to the plane, and you physically walk through. All right, this is an airplane. That's the door. We're going to open that. Then we're going to count to three. Does everyone know how to count to three? And then we're up in the air, and then they open the door. It's the first thought that runs through your head. It's like, why would anyone open the door on an airplane? That makes no fucking sense. And then people jump out. Like, people are disappearing. You're like, where do those people go? I don't understand what's happening. Then you start shuffling towards the door, and then you think, why am I shuffling towards the door? And then they tell you, in the class, you put your left hand on the wing of the airplane. And you're like, why is my hand on? Is that a wing? What the fuck? And then they go, one, two... And then they push you. <laughs> and then you're just like, wow, wow, it's really, really, really windy. I wonder what would happen if I opened my mouth. <laughs> oh, God. So I opened my mouth. <laughs> I felt like it almost slowed us down. <laughs> Talk about it. Um, and then they pull the cord, and you go from 120 miles per hour to about five, and all of that velocity goes straight to your crotch. <laughs> you're saying it was, uh, it was worth it?